All right, so I'm just outside the band room. And again, it's Sunday, so all the lights are off. So I just have to switch them all on so you get to see the brand new band room. And here it is. We have a new practice room. All band storage. More band storage. Some files that have to be emptied and put into the new filing system. But that's where we are. This is the new band room. And again, we're still in the construction, so nothing is ready to go all the way. All right, I'm still learning light switches, by the way. So I'm gonna take a right so I make a big circle. All right, so now I'm going into the shop. This is our new shop. And as you can see, we're still working on getting stuff. We have new machines. We have CNC router, CNC metals, better CNC wood to get organized. And that's what we're doing. This is the new equipment comes in. We have the new tables, etc. Saws, more new tables, four welding bays over there that are going to be top state of the art. Top of the line, I should say, so that we can teach college courses or high school courses on it and get certificates and hopefully even build up to a welding degree so students leave Gresham with a welding degree. So that's our new shop. Connected to our new shop is the Tech Ed room, our fab lab. And our fab lab is pretty awesome. We got a ton of new stuff coming in. I don't know where all the light switches are, so I'm gonna go to the switch I know. And here's the fab lab. We have our 3D printer. We're getting another one of those. We have our laser engraver. And as you can see, Mr. Bosman, who's the teacher for that, has already started laser engraving on wood and playing around getting it set up. So it's awesome. We're going to be able to do a whole mess of stuff. There's our poster printer. I'm excited to see what this grows into for all of us. So then I'm continuing in the circle. So right off of Mr. Bosman's room is Mr. Zobex. And again, it's dark because it's a Sunday. And I'll just stand in the corner over here and flip the lights on for you. So there's Mr. Zobex's room. I'm in the one corner. You walk through, you can go straight into the shop area. So this is Mr. Zolbeck's new room. And again, still putting away a ton of stuff. We still have a ton of electrical and people doing construction stuff around here for us. I leave Mr. Zolbeck's. And I'm in the main hallway. <coughs> that goes out to the parking lot. We have 10th, 11th, and 12th grade lockers in here. <coughs> so... Right now, you have Mr. Andy in the Swedberg room. All right. This is Mr. Andy in the Swedberg room. Right next to them is our sixth grade teacher and interventionist, Mrs. Graper. This is where she has her office. The sixth grade will be learning in other people's rooms for the first two hours because Miss Graper really doesn't have a room. She mainly has an interventionist room. So on your schedule, it'll tell you where the sixth grade is supposed to go. All right. Straight across from Miss Graper is Mr. Deke's math room. So here's Mr. Deke's math room. See Mr. Deke, it's right across in the new building. Okay. 